Welcome to the Crazy Head Chemist. So here we go again. Equilibrium and reaction rates. Bam! Calculating equilibrium constant values. So we're going to calculate the equilibrium constant. That's the KEQ for the following reaction. Notice that this is an equilibrium reaction. We got those two double arrows right over there. Okay, look at the stoichiometric coefficients. Look at the reactants. Look at the product. Look at what states of matter everything is. Okay, now you're going to be given some information, and that is concentrations, either molarity or pressures of these. And we're going to call these molarities to keep it simple here for the moment, although we could have called these pressures and then we would be ca calculating a Kp, but we're not quite there yet. So, then one of the questions that we'll be able to answer after we calculate the Keq is, is this a forward or is it a reverse reaction favored? Which one is favored? The reverse or the forward reaction? Okay, so products over reactants with the stoichiometric coefficients as exponents. Everything here is a gas. There's no solids or liquids. Now I'm going to plug in those numbers directly into that Keq expression. You've got to be really close because some of the got to be really careful because some of these formulas are very close. And that's an NO2 and an NO. Okay, and now I've just plugged in those numbers. After doing the math using your calculator, I got two significant figures here. I'm going to pop up with this number here, and that's a 33. So that number is greater than 1, therefore this is product favored. So KEQ is greater than 1, it is product favored or forward favored. Okay. That was calculating um, equilibrium constant values from some numbers. We're going to do lots of those. So, look forward to the next video. Give me a thumbs up. Talk to you later.